What is happening guys? Prey Mantis back with you again with another video. So today I've actually decided to make a vlog because I haven't vlogged for a little while and I thought, you know what? It's a really nice day outside in London today and it might be a perfect day for a vlog. So I've got my workout right now. It's early in the morning so I'm just getting ready for my workout, getting pumped up, sorting out my playlist for my workout as well and gonna have my pre-workout too. So I'm gonna mix it up. I think I've already mentioned how I make my own pre-workout but I've just got the ingredients for the pre-workout so you can check it out. I'm actually gonna show it to you right now. All right, so these are the ingredients that I use for my workout. I've got some arginine in there, I've got some taurine, citrulline mallet, and creatine monohydrate. So these are the ingredients that I'll be using for my workout. But you've probably been wondering, what about caffeine? Caffeine is so important in your pre-workout. Yes, I know I still take caffeine, but instead I just drink a cup of coffee. Um, I mean, that always works for me. I've been always drinking coffee in the morning on my empty stomach and I actually train fasted as well. What I do use in my coffee as well, I put a little bit of MCT oil, which is medium chain triglycerides. And because the chain is not as long as in saturated fats, because the chain is only medium, so your body, your liver can actually break it down easier. So it kind of works as carbohydrates because your body absorbs MCT straight into the bloodstream. Just came back home now. I hope you enjoyed that workout video. I was working out with a few mates from the gym. I just found my friend in the gym and I was like, do you wanna have a workout together? And he was like, yeah, why not? Because he was training his client at the same time, so we both kind of pushed his client to train. But yeah, it was a good session. Solid shoulders and arm session. And now I need a post-workout meal because I haven't had food yet and it's about 2.20 p.m. in the afternoon. So my fast needs to be broken right now. I'm probably gonna be cooking some beef, so keep watching. All right guys, so it's time to cook my meal right now. Uh, it's gonna be a really quick meal. I'm gonna be doing a salad for myself. So that's post-workout. What I'm going to have with my salad is three rice cakes in terms of carbs and an apple as well. So I'm, because I'm limiting my carbohydrates right now, so I try not to consume too much carbs. So I try to prioritize after my workout and carbs in the evening as well. So right here, I've got about 300 grams of minced beef. It's 5% fat, so it's very lean. I prepared that yesterday, actually. Uh, I've got two tomatoes, pepper that I'm gonna include in my salads as well, an apple, and three rice cakes. So you've probably been wondering whether I count my macros at the moment. Because I try and make it efficient for myself and I don't really wanna waste a lot of time, 
I sometimes include my macros in my fitness pal, but not every single day, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, because I know how many calories and how many macros my body needs, so I prioritize on protein, and then I switch up between fats and carbohydrates. So as I've already mentioned, because I'm limiting my carbohydrates right now, I try and consume a little bit more fat, but with this current meal, after my workout, I'm gonna be consuming just a little bit of carbohydrates to spike up my insulin, because insulin is an anabolic hormone and it helps to build lean muscle mass. So I'm not gonna be losing on lean muscle mass gains. You've probably been wondering, what is this guy doing with his hat, man? I just washed my hair, so my hair is like frizzy all over the place, but I'm going to have a haircut afterwards as well. And then later on, I've got an event, so I'm just keeping my hat on my head at the moment because my hair gets frizzy as hell. All right, guys, so this is my post-workout meal. This is how it looks. I fried up some beef with some salad and some dressing in there as well quite a solid meal quite massive but i'm gonna enjoy it shout out to all the people that live in the uk i'm gonna spice it up with some nando's garlic sauce if you live in the uk you must know nando's um, their sauces they're the best so if you love Nando's as well, please make sure to let me know what type of sauce you like the most. I pretty much tried everything. I love Nando's myself, but you know, when it comes to sauces, some people, they like extra hot. Some people, they like lemon and herbs. So which one do you like? Please make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. But in the meantime, I'm gonna hit my meal over here, quite solid. And then we're gonna crack on with the rest of the day. So guys, um, it's actually a golden hour right now. As you can see, the sky is quite golden in the background. So you have the same amount of time early in the morning, and you also have the same time later on at night, probably around 8, 8 p.m. Right now it's actually 8.30, so it's the perfect time to take pictures. So if you do like photography and you like to take pictures, you should definitely check out the golden hour. Hi guys, so this is Canary Wharf District. This is basically the main financial district in London, and probably in the entire Europe as well. Um, it's usually quite busy around here. In rush hour on the weekdays, it literally just can't get through. But it's a really nice day today, and very good day to explore. is probably the only unhealthiest thing that I do. I usually try and keep myself healthy but you know when you just want to chill and kind of relax yourself a little bit. I've been literally having three hours sleep today because I've been working yesterday and I didn't have sleep as much. So yeah I'm just gonna chill and relax and enjoy some shisha. So we've got naan breads over here, obviously it's carbs, but more interested in the platter. We've got some chicken wings in here, we've got some sujuk, which is meat, we've got some olives, we've got some salad around here, we've got some hummus, straight in there, straight Lebanese food slash Moroccan. I bought a 
new tripod. I bought my Joby DSLR Gorilla Pod. And the thing that happened to me was I couldn't freaking screw it on my Canon G7X. So I'm, I'm gonna need to buy a head. And I thought I'm gonna be able to do the workout videos tomorrow properly, but I'm not gonna be able to. So I'm gonna get the head now. And it's a shame actually, because I was really looking forward to it. And I was actually asking people on my social media whether they would like to see more vlogs or not. But obviously, vlog's gonna have to wait for a bit until I get this part so I can use my point and shoot camera for it. But we're in this place right now. And I think there's a, there's a robot in there. And there's a garden up there as well. We should check it out, shall we? Let's go. So, we're in Canary Wharf. There's a roof garden in here, but it's actually closed right now. It's quite interesting. They have the entire freaking garden in here. Been here quite a few times. It's quite nice. If you're around Canary Wharf, Definitely check it out. So guys, I think that's gonna be the end of the vlog today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.